Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be making my final prediction video for my 2021 coaster trip by predicting my rankings for the six coasters at SeaWorld San Antonio. This is the smallest major park on the trip, but I'm still really looking forward to it. It looks like a great park with a great collection of roller coasters. But without further ado, let's get into the list. Taking the number six spot is Super Grover's Boxcar Derby, the park z Air Force Zero coaster. This is just a kiddie coaster. However, I've heard this kiddie coaster can be quite painful, so I'm not exactly looking forward to it. Not much to say here, it's just a pretty standard kiddie coaster. At the number five spot, we have Journey to Atlantis, the park's mock ride super splash coaster. This ride is a water ride, but with some small coaster sections. It looks pretty fun. It looks like a good way to cool off from the hot Texas sun. Not much to say here. At the number 4 spot, we have Wave Breaker, the Rescue Coaster, the park's Intamin Family Launch Coaster. Now, this is a family coaster, but it does look like a pretty fun ride. I'm a fan of launched family coasters, and this looks like a pretty good one. It has a nice setting over the water. It just looks like a very solid family coaster that I am mildly excited to ride. Now, we're getting into the park's great-looking top three, starting off with Texas Stingray, the park's new for 2020 GCI wooden coaster. This ride looks very good. I seem to like these GCI wooden coasters the more I ride them, and this looks like a pretty average, but still very fun looking one. The airtime looks good, and it just looks like such a good ride that I am really excited to ride. At the number 2 spot, we have Steel Eel, the park's Morgan Mini Hyper Coaster. This ride looks absolutely fantastic, and very underrated. I am a very big fan of these Morgan Hyper Coasters. I even really liked Mamba at Worlds of Fun, and this one looks way better than that one. This looks like it provides some awesome looking airtime. I really do find these Morgan Hypers very, very enjoyable, and I think that this will be a fantastic ride, but not quite the number one in the park. And at the number one spot, we have Great White, the park's B&M Invert. I've had to talk about this exact same ride three times in the last three predictions videos. These things are everywhere, but you know what? I couldn't be happier. These Batman clones are just such magnificent rides. I've heard lots of people saying this is one of the best ones out there, too. I just love these for their leg-numbing intensity and whippiness. I know some people think these Batman clones being everywhere is a bad thing, but in my opinion, it's a great thing because it means I get multiple credits while riding multiple elite B&M inverts. And there you have it, my prediction for all the roller coasters at SeaWorld San Antonio. This is one of three major parks I'm going to in Texas, and it is definitely one that I am looking forward to, and I don't even think I have to explain why. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Inverted Thrills, out. <laughs>